I've been vegetarian almost uh, going almost approaching my 30th year. I've been doing a lot of research lately. I got a new book coming out uh, on Punk House. It's my second book. It's called uh, Meat is for Pussies. There's just a lot of false information out there that vegetarians are weak and all this nonsense. And uh, through, you know, I didn't just become, I became vegetarian out of compassion towards animals. But then I started researching into the health benefits of, uh, of being vegetarian. I'm, I want to do a lot of things, clear up a lot of misconceptions on vegetarianism and show what it's doing to the planet. These, this is my... Uh this is my Bermuda Triangle, my healthy triangle. You got Viva Pizza over here. On that corner is going to be Angelica's, and then I'll show you the juice joint over there. But this place has a lot of vegan stuff. Soy sausage, vegan cheese, everything. So the, it's smashing the myth that when someone says to me, what do you guys eat, salads? Anybody who stops in this place will be those misconceptions will be smashed. So that's just one of my places that I frequent. And we're gonna walk across the street and check out Angelica's. What I talk about in the book is the amount of, of uh, natural resources that are needed even to produce one pound of meat. It's ridiculous. You know, there's so many reasons to be vegetarian, economically, spiritually, uh, you know, health-wise. But there's a lot of people that stand to lose their jobs. The meat industry is a, is a multi-billion dollar industry in, in, in every country. Everybody's come in here to eat. This is the spot. All the vegetables on this are grown locally and orga organic local, so Within 48 hours after the vegetables are picked organically, they're served to you. It's one of the greatest places. And Leslie, the owner, when we lived in Squats, the cro mags back in 80 and 81, 81 over here and 82, she used to feed all of us. She kept us alive with her food. At the end of the night, you come by and she give you whatever was left over. And 95% of everything in here is organic, even the spices. You got to watch out for the radiation nowadays. But this is the best place. The staff is the best. The desserts are great. Now we're going to go over to my juice joint. We're going to grab a wheatgrass juice. I'll show you what keeps the motor running. If you're going to be into the whole green movement, then understand what the deep, deep rooted problem is. Why are they tearing down the rainforest? It's they're graze, they need room to graze animals. It's like, you know, when you keep looking, it's like it's always meat that's behind everything. But if you did watch The Inconvenient Truth, like I say in my book, Meat is for Pussies, Al Gore very conveniently left out the destruction that the meat industry is causing to the planet and the fish industry and the egg industry and the dairy industry. And why did he leave all of that out? Because his family were cattle people. This is uh, Liquiteria, that's my juice spot. I'm here every day, without fail. No, don't get this me. is my future ex-wife. I'm his future ex-wife. They like got that? the best people here, that's why I come here too. I get the organic juices, smoothies, they got wheatgrass juice. Uh, they make uh, vegan soy, all kinds of stuff. And um, you know, that's why I rock this place too. This is my other spot. And the owner, Doug Green, is very knowledgeable. Like I said, everybody comes in here too. You see everybody coming in here. Uh, you know, all kinds of people. Whatever, fuck celebrities, that don't mean shit. Average Joe, man, you wanna get healthy, you in New York, come to this spot. Second Avenue on the corner of 11th. It was just, I really feel a need with all the rise in cancer and all this stuff that's going on. I mean, every, you know, everybody you talk to, somebody lost somebody to cancer. It's like, you know, 
So I had to research where all disease starts, you know. Two ounces of wheatgrass down the hatch and a small fry up there. You do the research on wheatgrass, this stuff fights cancer, promotes longevity. And uh, I got a fresh pineapple juice coming. That's bromelain for the joints, right in the sea. Everything's fresh here, nothing, everything's made every day. Right out the juicer, that's the way to go. See the foam? That's the bromelain, that's what's in pineapple juice. That makes it really good for you. Meat is for pussies, don't forget. I'm at the Rana Govinda Yoga Center and I cook here on Sunday. It's a really happening thing on Sundays. You get all the neighborhood people come through and you know, it's really nice tonight. You know, we utilize a lot of uh, organic products and you know, we serve the homeless out of here. We, there's a, it's called uh, Feed America First. And, you know, when the weather's really nice, they're doing upwards of 6,000 plates a month to feed the needy. Nothing's, you know, we don't use any canned stuff. Even the spices, uh, most of them are, you know, freshly ground. You know, everything's fresh. We try to be as much organic as, uh, as we can. I can show you guys that are, that are in incredibly strong athletes and it, there's I, I listed all the studies that have been conducted the China study is the book I and all these studies that were conducted at Harvard Medical and all of this stuff about vegetarians having better endurance than people that eat meat and longevity and just everything they just came out with this scientific research about the blue zones on the planet people that live the longest and you know what vegetarianism was part of all of their diets essential and, and PMA, positive mental attitude and a spiritual, something that gave them purpose in life. But if you support organic farming and, you know, organic community, local organic communities, if everybody did what I do, or the other people who are actually full on conscious, then there really would be a reduction and get a purpose in your life, man. What are you, what are you living here to do, man? Find something that's, that's going to help the planet and not hurt the planet. That's real truly going green.